All right, this is video number two in our series of lead and how to detox it if you have kidney disease. So this video, I'm assuming that you got some type of test, either blood or a hair mineral analysis. Uh, blood is what medical doctors recommend. The Environmental Protection Agency recommends hair and nails. And you found out you have some lead in your system with kidney disease. And even small amounts of lead are bad for kidney function. And you can uh, learn more about that and how we talk about it in drinking water in the video previous to this. This one we're talking about, you got the lead, you want to detox it, and how you're going to detox it safely with kidney disease. Thanks for tuning in. This is Robert Galarowitz, naturopath, nutritionist, kidney survivor. Still got my AV fistula. Been living with a cadaver kidney transplant 18 years, 11 more longer than it was supposed to. Mine was only supposed to last seven, and here I am 18 years later because my life, my passion, my obsession is kidney disease. And that's how I make my living. And these, this YouTube channel is just great stuff that you can do and incorporate into your life. So you have lead. You have kidney disease, you want to detox it, what's safe? All right, three things we're going to talk about. First one, vitamin C. So vitamin C detoxes heavy metals. Now with kidney disease, vitamin C is a little tricky, so you only you don't want to take a lot. I'm going to say 500 milligrams up to 1,000. Uh, and if you have some in your multivitamin, that a lot, a lot of times will be enough just to help detox you. And with detoxing with kidney disease, detoxing lead or any other heavy metals, uh, slow and steady wins the race, meaning you want to do it gradually. If you do it very fast, aggressively, you're going to put too much burden on your body, uh, too much stress on that kidney. So you got to think over the long term, three months, six months, nine months, okay, in those areas. So vitamin C, if you do decide to use it, I prefer ester C or liposomal C. Okay, those are two types of vitamin C available. Uh, there's typically four on the market, most readily available. And those are the better types. Easier on the body, they're non-acidic, you won't have stomach upset generally, and they absorb better. Okay, so 500,000 milligrams if you have that lead and you wanna use ester C or liposomal C, and those are the two uh, better options. So next one, garlic. Garlic, you could eat lots of garlic and it's good to take a garlic supplement if you have lead. And why garlic? Garlic has so many good properties to it. Antibacterial, antimicrobial. There's allicin, a, a therapeutic uh, property inside of it. There's uh, allium, another therapeutic property. And there's, there's just dozens, dozens of such good things about garlic. And we know that garlic detoxify lead. So you, you probably wanna pick up some garlic pills. There's a lot out there. Um, even the most basic garlic pills seem to do a good job. And you'd like to take three pills a day of those garlic pills somewhere in the area. You can spread it out throughout the day, one with each meal uh, or two at a meal, you know, however it works for your schedule. All right, so we have uh, vitamin C, garlic, and the last one is alpha lipoic acid, a potent antioxidant, a vitamin-like substance. That's extremely therapeutic, uh, very good for diabetic kidney disease. Alpha lipoic acid will detox lead. Uh, what we recommend for kidney disease is 600 milligrams of alpha lipoic acid once to twice per day. We know that's safe with diabetic kidney disease, studied a lot, good nutrient. Uh, so taking that amount will also help get some of that lead out and it's over the course of time. You don't wanna do it aggressively, I'm gonna say that again because you'll just put too much stress on your body, too much stress on your kidney. So. Use those three nutrients if you have lead to detox safely, easily, and you should be under the care of a practitioner, medical doctor, health professional, whoever you're seeing. And thanks for watching, everybody, and to your best kidney health.